I'm not tasting that. It's, it's terrible. Oh, it's the smell of it. I can't eat this shit. Hey everyone, this is Candid Ann and Good the morning. Mister. <laughs> and here we are again with our Universal Yums unboxing. Love these boxes. I've been slightly disappointed lately, but hopefully, guys, guess what? Did I tell you I had a patient that was from Brazil and one of the one of the snacks that was inside my box, I saw it in my patient's room and I was like, wait a minute, I tried that. I know what that is. So that was kind of fun. Here we go, Thailand. One of our subscribers either knew it or guessed it. Let's get started. Okay, so the first thing up is um, prawn crackers. Hot chili flavor. Okay, I hope it's not too spicy. As you can see here, that's what it looks like. Let's open it on up. So I'm guessing it's going to be like a shrimp <laughs> flavor. Um, I can't open it. Oh, it smells! It's coming out. <laughs> you got it? Yeah, it smells kind of shrimpy. Kind of? Oh, Lord Jesus. They don't look too bad. They just look like these little small... Yeah, like... Mm, no. French fries, almost. Hmm. <laughs> not even that lot spicy. It actually has a nice little flavor to it. It's not... When we first opened the box, there was a bit, or the bag smell. rather. Smell. Uh, there's a real shrimpy smell that came out. Yeah. But tasting the, sh the actual product, it, it doesn't taste shrimpy at all, really. Yeah, it just uh, tastes like a fried, slightly cheesy, has a little bit of a kick, you know, mm -hmm. not too spicy. I don't even taste any shrimpy anything in it. It almost yeah. smells like shrimp, but I don't like taste it too much. It's not bad. Yeah. It's actually pretty good. It's okay. It's got a nice little spicy, not a real hot spicy, but mm -hmm. um, I want to say like an Old Bay, mm -hmm. like a weak Old Bay uh, seasoning <laughs> to it. So, it's okay. Yeah, it's good. Um, you like it? I'm just okay with them. Yeah. This is another savory snack. Uh, Ooh, okay. Tomato flavored cracker. Okay. So I guess it's crackers yeah. that are flavored like tomato. Hmm, nice scent to it. Hmm. Tomato, tomato, tomato. Wow. Right? When they say tomato flavor, <laughs> they mean, I'm not joking. It's really light. It melts in your mouth. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't need much work of mouth in order to get this you know, down. Once your saliva hits it, it starts disintegrating. And this is tomato. Somehow they infused mm -hmm. the actual flavor. <laughs> Of tomatoes into this uh, into this mm -hmm. cracker. That's pretty interesting. I've it's never. It's really interesting. Yeah. I've never had anything like this before. Yeah. Usually in the United States, when we have tomato flavor, it's not like really ketchup. tomato flavored. It's ketchup flavor. It's yeah. real ketchup. Yeah. This is not ketchup. This is a sweet tomato. Alrighty, what what do we have next, babe? Uh, coated peanuts, spicy sesame flavor. Hmm. So we have peanuts that are tasting like sesame flavored, okay? No, it looks like they're coated with sesame, sesame. seeds. We have here just yeah, a small smells little... Like, right? Smells like peanuts. You know, the peanuts are covered with a, a coating mm -hmm. as well as covered in uh, little sesame seeds. Yep. Not bad at all. I like it. My mother would like these. Yeah, they're good. Spicy, but not too spicy. There's also a little bit of Sweet. sweetness from the coating. Oh, as you eat more, it gets more spicy. Eat another or two, one or two more, and it starts adding up. That spice starts adding up in your in your palate. These are good. I would buy these again. Yeah, those are very good. If you like spicy stuff, and you like peanuts. Mm hmm. Definitely check this out if you. Have this one. is really good. I would definitely buy this again in a bigger bag, and if I was having like a little party or whatever, I'd put these out. This is awesome. Yeah. They should change this out for peanuts at the bar. This is better than peanuts at the bar. This is really good. Yeah. Two thumbs up for me on that. That's good. I'm going to try to find this in my local Asian market. Mm -hmm. That's the side. That's really good. Yeah. <laughs> the next thing I think Andrea is really going to like is what? Oh, Lord. Let me guess. Either has mango or, or coconut. All right? 
I knew. <laughs> Real coconut. I think you're gonna like this. You guys. I'm not too much of a coconut person, but. You have coconut. His father's from Guyana. Anyone that's from the Caribbean knows how he's making fun of me all the time in these videos. It's like coconut that's shredded, but maybe but, I'm gonna taste it, see if it has a chocolate flavor, but. Mm -hmm. Mmm. It's more like shape, coconut shavings. Yeah. There we go. You see that in there, guys? It's like coconut shavings in there. It's nice. I'm not a big fan of coconut. Coconut. We mm -hmm. love coconut. But this is pretty good. The coconut shavings have a little slight chocolate flavor to it. Right. But it's really, really light. Mm -hmm. You know, it's mostly just pure coconut flavor you get. Mm-hmm. I mean, the ever so slight flavor of chocolate. I like it. Yeah, this cool. would be good. If you had a cake and you crushed up and put it on top of the cake or whatever, this would be interesting. Or ice cream. Or ice cream. Yeah. It's kind of awkward eating it out of here like this. And it certainly doesn't taste bad, but yeah. That, that would go good if you guys are creative and you guys are like bakers and things like that. And if you ever see this, I would try this. Mm -hmm. I, like if I was, you know, had time and I was making like different desserts and stuff like that. That was nice. Next thing up is a uh, Tom Yum flavored pretzel. Uh, this is what gave it away for me. When they said something about their sticks, their mm -hmm. flavored sticks, this is what I was thinking of. Thin little crackers, basically. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is weird. I was expecting a salty uh, pretzel stick, but it's more sweet. Mm hmm. This is more on the sweet side to me with a little bit of spiciness at the end. But it's another very interesting um You have spicy... never tasted anything like that before. Yeah. It's weird, they have the cute little characters. Oh, is that seaweed? Yeah, this is called Big Roll Grilled Seaweed Barbecue Sauce. Tasty and easy. Mm. <laughs> you guys see that? Gonna, I'm concerned about this because I don't like seaweed. And this is barbecue flavor seaweed. Oh my goodness. So it comes out. I think it That's got broken. broken. Yeah, a little roll of seaweed. Mm -hmm. Smells Ooh. like barbecue sauce. Yeah. Like it says, it, said, it does say it's barbecue uh, sauce. So. It sounds mm. crunchy. Nice and crunchy. Mmm. It's sweet. Yes, yeah, a sweet barbecue sauce. Mm -hmm. As you chew it, it starts to taste like spinach. And then as you chew it more, the seaweed flavor just kicks in. Actually, so, of all the seaweed that I've had, this is probably the best one I've ever had. If you like seaweed, definitely give it a try. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't like seaweed on its own. I like it when it's in a soup mm -hmm. or, you know, with sushi or, you know, when it's mixed in with other things. But that was the best one, I'm telling you. Definitely the best one that I've had so far. You know, it, it was sweet. It's not an overwhelming barbecue flavor, yeah. but there's a touch of barbecue flavor in there. Like after they rolled it up or did whatever, they, they glazed quite a bit of barbecue sauce on there. Mm -hmm. It's crunchy but and flaky, not like hard crunchy, light flaky, crunchy sort of a thing. Next up, uh, I think this is um, Pocky. This has some kind of green tea, some kind of covering. It looks like a, a frosting. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, it's good. Uh, if you like green tea flavor, it has sweet. a nice sweet. Not uh, overly sweet. Yeah. The cracker is just the cracker. There's a little thin cracker that it's, the green tea is mm -hmm. covering. Mm -hmm. You know, nothing spectacular or special about it. But I say uh, it's okay. It's not my favorite, but I could eat it. Mm -hmm. I could eat it with like some wine. I could eat it. Here we go again with the wafers. Yeah, this looks to be a little pink wafer. Um, this looks strawberry. to be. Strawberry. Yeah, it looks like a little strawberry. This is exactly mm -hmm. what I thought it was going to be. Kit Kat type candy with uh, strawberry icing. It's a wafer. Wafer. The strawberry icing, vanilla inside, mm -hmm. and strawberry on the outside. Not bad, but not... Original. Mm -hmm. not it's like bad. every country has something similar. Mm -hmm. Okay, the next up is Little Farm Garlic Bread. Oh, okay. I like garlic bread. Ooh, really strong garlic uh, smell. In a good way. Yeah, it looks like a piece Look of toasted, at that. toasted bread. Mmm. These are really good. Really nice that buttery, cookie? buttery, garlicky flavor. That toast, garlic bread. Got mm. another one in there? There's no more. There's another one right here. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, this is yeah I think marriage is sweet. Yeah, yeah, I think marriage is sweet is what it comes down to. I'm telling you. Yeah, this is really good. That's nice. really buttery and flaky and soft. That would be so tasty with some pico de gallo. 
I hope I'm pronouncing that right because I'm not, but you know what I mean. Tomatoes, the um, cilantro, the lime, I think it's cucumber, I don't know what you guys do. Bomb, bomb, bomb. It reminds me of bruschetta. That would be great with bruschetta. You put that to the side in the corner so I can't see. <laughs> That would be great with some bruschetta. It's it's tasty. I like that. Very nice. I know I'm gonna get no more. <laughs> Glad you know that. <laughs> oh, it's another pandan cake. We've had one of these before, right? I remember we mm -hmm. had a pandan cake before. Now, before you said you didn't like this first one. I think you told me it was too dry for you. You didn't like I don't it. Remember. I remember you said you didn't like it. It was dry. This one is juicy. Look at that. Can you see that? There's some kind of like soft. I don't know what pandan really is but something's juicy in there flavor is nice this would be so nice with tea in the morning this is very nice i like this very much i like pandan cake mm -hmm. universal yums is what introduced me to pandan cake because i've never had it before now i've had my second one yeah, i would buy this again yeah. great with my tea in the morning i could have that with my tea in the morning Give it a shot if you ever see it. You know, it's you like this one good. better than the first one that you've had. Because yeah. last time you had this, you said it was too dry, you didn't like it. This one you seem to like a little bit more. But yeah, I would, I would give it to try, you guys. If it's like a dollar or two dollars, pick it up, try it. It's not bad, I like it. All right, what do we have next? This better not be no coffee. What is Tam this? It says, oh, tamarind candy. <laughs> Yeah, it says tamarind candy on So this side. should be probably nice and sour and sweet. Oh, let's try this, you guys. Let's try this. Oh, I'm so excited. Mm-hmm. 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 Tamarind. I like it, boy. When you first eat it, you don't taste it right away. But as you eat it more and more... The sour flavor of the tamperin comes out, and it's nice. It's not like overly sour, like where you're like all puckered your mouth up or whatever. Mm -hmm. Very nice. What do you think? Yeah, I don't detect much sourness, but it is nice and sweet, and it does taste like tamarind. Yeah, this is another good one. If mm -hmm. you hadn't had a chance to ever have tamarind before, this would be a good introduction. Sometimes people think it can be a little, in its natural form, a little sour, a little too sour for, for some people. It is people. a bit sour, but it's, yeah. This candy this is a nice introduction to the tamarind flavor. Mm -hmm. Next up is uh, United Jeez. Coffee Candy. I might even eat that. It's terrible. It's terrible. That's what I say all the time. What's the point of eating it? Have we not had this candy before? Nope. Why does everybody want to make a coffee candy? It's terrible. That's all you know I'm going to say. Wow, this really smells like a dark, dark oh, coffee. I can't. I can't. I cannot eat that, Edward. I cannot eat that. I cannot eat that. I'm not tasting that. It's, it's terrible. I would just smell of it. I can't eat this shit. Howard, I have come along with you on this adventure you want to taste of, uh, but you gotta cut me some slack here. I'm serious, you have to cut me some slack. No slack, taste it. Howard, this is dark and it's freaking... I, I cannot eat this. You don't have to eat the whole thing, just taste it. I don't want to taste this. I smelled it, it was bad enough. You know, when you eat things, you're mostly smelling it. You know, when you lose your sense of smell, you lose your sense of flavor. I smelled it, that was enough. To tell me... I cannot. Oh God. There's no there's Just no point. <laughs> there's no point in me even trying this because you know I'm not going to like it. There's no that. point. I'm telling you. Taste I'm it. not gonna like it. I'm not gonna like this. This oh until I smell it. Hold your nose and taste it. No. No. Uh-uh. I'm sorry, there's a limit. There's a limit. We gotta put a limit on these things that you're gonna put me through here. It stinks. Get out of my No, man. This this stinks. Just I, taste it and then. Ugh. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hold your nose. Hold your nose. Oh, you. stop it! I'm telling you, I'm not eating this. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta get 
get off my lips. I gotta get off my lips. A little mess up my lipstick. Lipstick all over my hands, you guys. Fight over heat. I'm not even gonna bother. There's no point, cause all I'm gonna do is make stupid, ugly faces and, and tell you how bad it is. I even wanna kiss you afterward. Brush your teeth. Move. What do you think about that can? Did you like the flavor of it? Yeah, it's good. Nice, strong coffee flavor. Mm -hmm. You know, but again, a lot of coffee candy tastes the same. You know, there's nothing really, you know, special or interesting oh, really? about, you know. Okay, yeah, I was surprised. Coffee. Because you said how dark it was and it was strong smell and everything. I thought it was going to be a little bit different, but, you know, if you, you say know so. If you know if you would taste it. No, uh, I'll take your word for it, babes. Anyhow, last thing that we have coming up. It's a Thai tea drink. Mm -hmm. There we go. It looks really orange, like pumpkin soup or something like that. If you guys can see a little bit of that in there, learn to spill. Mmm. I actually like this. I'm surprised. I thought I was going to be making all kinds of weird faces. <laughs> But this isn't bad. This is warm. This is sweet. It's creamy. It reminds me somewhat of hot chocolate, but a lighter concoction instead of hot. It's just nice. I like it. I would drink this again. I'm surprised to say that I would drink this again, especially on a cold day with some vodka. It'd be awesome. I mean, it's okay. It kind of tastes artificial. It does, you know. yeah. Um, but I still like it. Yeah, it's all right. It's not but bad. For the trouble, you could just get, you know, make regular tea. I'm not one of these people that adds cream to my tea. So this is making me think that maybe I should try to add some cream to my tea and see how that, how, maybe I would like it. I've just never tried it. I always drink my tea with the tea bag and just some honey or the tea bag and some brown sugar. Yeah, but it's so, okay. It's know. okay. I probably wouldn't purchase it, you know. Yeah, I'm going to try it. This is going to actually make me try to have my tea with um, some kind of milk. So that was the last product in this month's box yeah. from Thailand. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, so I'm going to go ahead and read next month's clue. It says, the weather is getting colder and they know the best way to keep warm in the winter. Drink vodka all day. Well, pass on the drinking, but say yes to the yums, chocolates and cheese bread and much more to come. So, you know, when I'm hearing vodka, I'm thinking Russia. Because Russians are known for vodka, aren't they? And it's yeah. cold. Has to be Russia. Yeah, probably Russia. For, uh, it's gotta be Russia. Cool. It's cold, it's vodka. They could put a nip inside that box. <laughs> Just joking, I know they won't. So yeah, that's about it this week, guys, for Universal Yums. This is actually a fun box this month. I had, it was a nice little variety of stuff. And yeah, thanks so much for checking us out. And let us know if there's anything else you'd like to see from the two of us. That's it for now. Take care, guys. Bye. You always look annoyed. Look how, look how your face looks, babe. You gotta give the people some energy, some excitement, some hi. You're like an angry old black man, like. Ugh. Don't even think about putting that thing near my mouth. Move. <laughs>